Okay, so from today's class, we will start to talk about uh, powder preparation because we are dealing with ceramics and we said the majority of the class we are dealing from powder all the way to sintered ceramics. The first part is powder, powder preparation, which is very, very simple, but very, very important. Very, very important. Okay, so um, as we said, uh, for traditional ceramics, Traditional ceramics, last time we showed all these things, right? Potteries, China wire, uh, white wires, home white wires. For traditional ceramics, the, the features, the composition quite often people use to make these things are very rough, not precisely specified. They have a wide, very wide range in that composition, quite often you mine it from the from the field. You don't do too much about it. Not precisely controlled. Okay. Often to make these, your raw material is often a mixture, a great mixture of different uh, material. Not very precisely controlled. The reaction process to make these part quite often, believe it or not, very complex, very very complex. Um, densification that often involves reaction. The raw material you get some mine from the field, from the mines, and without too much processing, you get them started to use them for the pottery. Okay, but for so-called technical ceramics, as opposed to traditional ceramics, for technical ceramics or advanced ceramics like these. High purity cores, the knife for two cutting tools, okay. The well boron car boron um, carbide body armor. For these types of so-called advanced ceramics, of course there are more. We quite often need very precise composition control. No longer like this, it's you just mined it from the field. Quite often the purity for the powder greater than 98%. Precise physical characteristics for the raw material for the powder that we are using. We are talking about particle size. Particle size. We want certain particle size range or green size. And the degree of agglomeration. We'll talk about them. Agglomeration means what? Means the powder, the fine powder coming together. They are kind of bonded semi loosely but uh, without milling they are still kind of bonded by one of our force agglomeration degree of agglomeration how do the individual powder bond it together that controls the degree of agglomeration and controls how powder flows that's also important believe it or not for industry production okay and raw material highly refined chemicals or ceramics highly refined for advanced ceramics.